Welcome guys to today's video. And today I'll be attempting something I've kind of tried before but not really. I will declare war on everybody long term but there's a stipulation I'll declare every round a war on somebody else. So in the beginning it'll be quite okay I can like build an army up but the longer it goes the, longer, the harder it will get. And this time I'll take quite a hard country because now I tried it with England and Russia but in the other conquest, in the 1798 one. But today I'll try in 1806 to do it as France. So let's have a look how that goes. And instead of probably going too aggressive, I will try to take out maybe one guy after each other. So I think I'll take off to the Dutch quite early, so I have nobody backstabbing me long term. And I won't really go and attack, because yeah, I'm not gonna win this. I might make some gains in the beginning, but I'm not going to win it. So the first round don't really count because, yeah, it's the first round. So I'm going to prepare on the Swiss too. Just so, yeah, I'll, I'll even have to take them out. So why not do it in the beginning? Don't stand a chance. Okay, so first round is prepared, I guess. And let the chaos begin. So, first round, who would I declare war on? I, I think I'll probably go for the Netherlands, even though it would, should make sense for it to go after the enemies first. Like maybe Morocco, but I'm just gonna take out the Netherlands instantly. Oh my god, actually, I'll pretty surely one bank the Netherlands. Yeah, actually, one banked in one round. Okay, so that's not bad. That's really not bad. So, next, I'll probably go after the enemies who are actually are my enemies. I just didn't want to have that problem. Just didn't want to deal with that. Invasion of Switzerland is planned. Spain I'll keep as long out of it as possible because Spain will be so annoying. I think I'll keep them as my last ally in the war. So I think I'm going to declare on the Austrians because they're anyway going to join against me. Okay, so first of all, declaration of war on. I think I'll grab the Swiss. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll grab the Swiss now. So I can take them out again. I probably won't be able to one bang them like I did before. That was quite insane with the Dutch. Tell me as a prediction how long you think I'll last. I'm quite interested in myself what I can do against these super strong enemies. So another problem less. I actually don't even looking so weak. Oh did I actually declare war in some way this round? Not sure. I think I didn't. Ooh. Okay, so I, ah, I didn't, I didn't. I have to do a little attack Sicily. So you guys are gonna join too. This will just slowly gonna turn red. And declaration on Sweden. Everyone looks at the world. In the moment it's still looking okay, -ish, but red is slowly taking over. Okay, so end turn. What you're seeing is I'm saving a lot, up a lot of money just to actually then have something to build like last defenses and so on okay so who am I going to declare on now well I'm going to go after neutrals tribal <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm playing so passive it's just because okay so next declared war is on Algeria that's gonna be quite a painful one and from now on honest have allies to declare on which is quite bad so now I have to declare where my allies that's not good so first I'm going to take the weakest allies, obviously. Probably not those which are too close, because this can help me fight for a bit. So not Saxony, not Rhine, up Egypt. Egypt, Egypt it is. Yeah, I just look at this word slowly turning red. Especially now that I have to clear war on the other friend. Poland, you are probably quite weak now. What are you going to change? Probably enough. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't lost. Oh, I'm actually using my, my normal territory without even yet having too much of a fight against me. At least financially, I'm looking good, so I can spawn in still some good units. Oh, I forgot. First things first declare war. Only still a handful of friends. Now I'm getting to that hardcore part where I have to declare war on the people I don't really want to. Goodbye, Rhineland. That will be annoying. That'll be quite annoying. 
Okay, I can just grab Prussel's back. Uh, just it's kind of sad watching all my friends leave me. Like, goodbye, goodbye my, my lover. Goodbye, goodbye my, my friend. friend. You, you have, have been, been the one. one. You have been the mm. one. Who is it this round? Well, it's gotta be Italy. The dance is still tacting enough attention. Look how red this world is becoming. Now the Danes. No, I only still have the Spanish and the Ottomans. And declare war on the Ottomans. Spain, you're my last friend. Does that make you feel special? And I'm over limit again, but anyways, so gonna be done. No, I have to declare war on the Spanish. So, France is all alone. In the Red World. It's kinda sad. The big blue block. It's almost like in real, <laughs> real Europe, <laughs> where France was just killed by everybody. Like, oh, we don't like you, France. Just, just stop it. Okay, at least I have a lot of money. So I can keep quite a lot of cities still afloat with just still very basic units. So Dijon, this city, and Paris are the three cities I have to hold for as long as possible. At least I don't have to feel so sorry if I declare war on somebody now. <laughs> Look at the map. There's like a very, very many generals near Paris. There he is. He has just red. Okay, so I lost one city. Which one is it? Turin. Lyon still holding, Marseille still holding, Toulouse is still holding, but that's about it. So, situation is looking quite desperate. I'm holding Paris, trying to hold still some other cities, but one is falling off one after the other because they're getting the damage in. Well, I'm holding four cities in a moment. It's looking okay-ish, I think. It's quite hard because they're like winning, getting a city every single round. At least I think the strategy paid off to keep as many, as much money as possible. So to try to kill off as many good channels as possible, as soon as possible. So that the weaker units of them don't do as much damage to me. That would be ideal. So which city have I lost? No, Lyon. This poor guy is encircled. Didn't even kill off that unit there. Toulouse has fallen, Bordeaux is on the verge of collapsing. Ah, Paris will have to hold for a while. A while. So there's a little tangent, I've seen that uh, some of you guys have voted already on the poll if I should make a Discord server. I still saw that let it run for about one, one, one more through a few days and then I can see if there's actually enough interest. That was been fairly positive, but just um, not yet so many people who had taken part, so I would hope if some more of you could have a look at the, uh, the things. Okay, so I'm honestly holding Paris and I have no idea what the city is called. I'll make it to around Surrey for sure, but then I'm not sure how much further. <laughs> well, slowly my army is getting really reduced. I'm just holding the center around Paris and that's almost it. At least I made it to around 30. So I'm slowly out of money. There, probably the things will end. My attempts of surviving. Because a lot of the enemies are blutchering their way through my lines. But um, those butchering, butchering, uh, yeah, yeah, you get the joke. Okay, so still one of my last purchases. Then I am Bancorotto. So I can survive a little longer. But yeah, maybe send me still some questions for in the next video. I might, you know, for so long periods, I'm just doing kind of nothing and just surviving. Maybe if something similar happens, I answer some questions if you have any. I should survive longer, but I mean, I took a harder country. France is a bit harder because there's so many enemies around. Not like the UK or the Russians where you can just once wait till they even arrive at you. And yeah, I don't even want to know the casualty count I've caused. Probably if I sacrifice every single general in Paris, I can do it till 40. 
I've lost the city. I've lost the southern city. Okay, so it's just Paris. Because first Washington, you'll be sacrificed. My man, Washington. Good guy. Okay, 4D is pretty sure not an official. Uh, but they won't get. I'm pretty sure I'd rather lose next round. 40, I still should manage. And then I can maybe still sacrifice one general. And that's then about it. Um, I think I'll try my luck with the militia. Okay, so I think 40 should be the round where it ends. Might be 50. But, uh, 40, 42, but yeah. It should end now if they, if they are smart enough, but they're not smart. It's the AI. I lost Paris? What am I still... I'm still holding Portugal! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay, then it's gonna hold a little longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I totally forgot I had Portugal. So I might even make it to like 40. 4. Yeah, I can't even build anything. I'm just gonna chill. I even was talking about I could try to hold Portugal to the end. I think I totally forgot about him. But so did the enemies too. I can build another militia. Way. Okay, it's actually 245. 46. But that has to be it now. Next round, it, it has to be over. Just as for my suffering, it's getting quite boring enough to say. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. Okay, 47. That will be it in one second. Or not. T t tell me. Okay, no Spain's. Okay. So, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, please still uh, make, uh, vote in the straw poll for those who haven't yet. Tell me if you joined the Discord server or not. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and goodbye.